The Institute of Mathematics and Computer Science in Medicine is working in its Voxelman project on the 3D reconstruction of an interactive anatomy model from photographs of the Visible Human project. Within this project run by the National Library of Medicine and the University of Colorado, cross-sectional photographic images of a human male cadaver were generated. The final aim of the reconstruction is a complete body model for learning and teaching anatomy as well as basics of radiology. Besides that, it is intended to be a tool for simulation of radiological and surgical interventions. The cadaver was frozen and sectioned with a slice distance of one millimeter. This resulted in 1,871 photographic images as you see them on the cut plane of the body in the center. Magnetic resonance imaging and computer tomography as seen on the right were applied as well. One of the possibilities of using the visible human data set is to present anatomy by browsing through the slices which have a spatial resolution of about 0.3 millimeters. However, the real challenge is to build 3D models from these data as this is done within the Voxelman project in Hamburg. Based on more than 10 years experience, methods could be developed which allow quasi-realistic exploration of the visible human's anatomy. The viewer may unveil the inner anatomy by arbitrary cutting and choose his individual point of view. Here we are starting for a flight into the visible human's abdomen approaching the intestine. Watching the spleen. Looking down to the head of the pancreas. Removing the intestine opens the view to the left kidney with the renal artery and the renal vein. While stepping backwards, we observe the greater curvature of the stomach. Removing muscles and liver tissue unveils the systems of the hepatic and portal veins. And now, Fasten seat belts for a journey into the visible human stomach, simulating a gastroscopy. We have entered the esophagus and moved down until we reach the stomach. We observe its wave-like surface and proceed further down to the pylorus. We move back, looking around in the cavity of the stomach as we would do in gastroscopy. The realism of computer-based body models is also shown with this view of the visible human's shoulder. Although for reasons of computer capacity, only about 10% of the data available for the shown part of the body could be used, even small detail is visible. Note, these are not photographs. These are reconstructions from cross-sectional photographic images. Learning radiology by simulating radiological procedures in their anatomical context is a special objective of the research in Hamburg, as shown with this dissection exposing the visible human's optical nerves. CT and MR images may be viewed within the corresponding 3D anatomy. The same is true for X-ray imaging, which can be simulated from the CT data for any section and for any direction and geometry of the X-ray beam.
What you have seen in this short movie represents only the tip of the iceberg in the field of research of computerized body models. One of the visions is that such models not only look realistic, but that they also behave in a realistic fashion, for instance, for complete rehearsal of surgery. Although there is still a long way to go, at some time in the future, classical anatomy atlases and even diagnostic images will be replaced by body models as you have seen them in this movie.